Hello everybody, I am joined by Igor Kurganov and first of all, we just have to talk about, I feel like no matter where you are, you're always making the most of it. You're always getting every little ounce of pleasure you can from every experience and I saw a tweet the other day that you were running out as soon as it, it was rumored that there was snow to build a snowman in Rosvodov. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ben Lam and I were awake for quite a while. The schedule here just changes. It's the tournaments begin late and like you're always later than you're supposed to be so we ended up being awake still in the early morning hours and he lives in Vegas he doesn't see much snow so as soon as we saw the snow come down I we just thought he, he needs to build a snowman I bet he hasn't done that in a while so we went out unfortunately it wasn't enough so we built like a host of little snowmen um, and then we decided, okay, it's actually also cold, and we didn't prepare for it. <laughs> no, nobody had gloves. Nobody had. We're, nobody's oh, no. ready. But a little snowman, that's fine. Just give him a little taste. A little taste for snowman. Now, I wanted to talk also, you played the 100K, and yeah, like no needles. I know it was like the next to the bubble that you got out, so that was terrible. But you played an interesting hand against Fedor, um, where it was, you know, a bluff that didn't go, it didn't go your way. But I still think it's a really interesting spot and a really interesting board where I would just want to know all of the things that you think. Mm -hmm. Basically, I just want your brain to just, just let us know. Sure. So uh, I opened under the gun at a seven-handed table and Fedor called from the hijack. And uh, we had a third player, which was the big blind in the pot as well. And the board came 10-10 very low, 10-10-3, I think. And I had, uh, it was rainbow and I had jack nine of diamonds, which um, wasn't the 10 was not in diamonds. So I seabed that board because Fedor shouldn't have that many 10 X's in his range. Uh, and he will have some pairs, he might have some like a size that he might sometimes still be happy to call with. But overall, like I, I still have quite the range advantage here. Maybe not against the big, like the big blind still has more 10x's probably, but um, he often also just has nothing and just gives up and it's nice to get him out. Um, so I see bad fitter calls, big blind folds, and now the turn comes the third 10 which is fortunately for me, I mean, in some way, not how it played out, but it's fortunately for me, again, not the diamond 10. So now the 10x's that Fedor can have are ace 10 of diamonds, king 10 of diamonds, queen 10 of diamonds, not anymore jack 10 of diamonds or 10 nine of diamonds, and he's partially going to three but those as well. So I think that now I have, now I'm blocking him ever having the 10 pretty much, or like just very rarely. So I think my hand um, makes therefore sense to keep barreling off with it um, especially because I also block like his very strong uh, full houses like pocket nines or pocket jacks that he will also sometimes flat queens plus he'll probably three but most of the time so I'm actually making him only have like eights and lower which is pretty good spot if he had ace queen so I'm just I mean, that he defended on the flop because he had like ace queen suited or ace jack suited now I bet that again he had a backdoor flush on the flop he folds that on the turn, he didn't, he called again. And now on the river, it breaks out, and unfortunately no overcard comes, which again would have been good for me, bad for him. And I decide to bet a million into a million um, before I bet uh, two thirds, two thirds and now pot. And I think the, I should have just bet larger actually. Our stacks were like 2x pot. And I think specifically the hand I have, because like my hand blocks him ever having the nut nuts. So I can fairly confidently choose this one, because it's kind of like an empty bluff anyway. I, I can choose this one to make a very large sizing, and choose some other ones to make a smaller sizing. And um, well, that's not what I did, I only bet pot. I think it would have been maybe a spot to just go for it and just like put in the whole stack. He might still end up calling because he feels like he doesn't have that many hand, better hands in that spot than, his, than sevens. Um, and even though probably against a 2x pot jump, he might have folded. Anyway, so... Did you I guys talk about the hand afterwards? No, uh, we played some uh, short deck and didn't talk about that and just tried to learn that game. But uh, given that I busted the bullet anyway, I wish I would have just jammed and maybe busted that way at least, you know. <laughs> I'm going like to go for it, let's just get anyway. it. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I think it's interesting, and, and in thinking about understanding what you know his range is for you, what are you thinking he's putting you on at this spot where you don't go for like the super, super big bluff? Um, what does he put me on there? I think he gives me credit for like value betting um, most of my overpair still and the 10x, but he also assumes that I just very often will take my overcards and barrel them off. And then it's about the question, does he think that I like 
do it too often with the overcards because if I race like queen jack off another gun or like which I don't but like if I race like king queen off and like other hands then I have just so many combinations of bluffs so it's just about the question if he thinks that I'm like picking it carefully or just going for it um, Anyway, I think like it. really go for and it. Really go for it. Might have been the line, yeah. <laughs> I love that in the end it's not, man. Maybe that was a bluff gone bad. It's no, I should no, have made that have bluff go hard. Money into the pot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Well, it's always good to see you. I'm always happy to see you on stops. I don't see Same. you as much anymore. So Igor Kurganov, I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us. Thank you for tuning in to PokerNews.com. Thanks.